everybody. Today we're going to be talking about unit circle angles in quadrant one. First, let's do a little bit of review. In an earlier video, we discovered that 6.28 radians fit inside a circle, and also discussed how mathematicians have discovered that it's actually two pi radians that fit inside a complete revolution of a circle. So before we dive into unit circle angles, let's answer the question, what is a unit circle? It's really simple. A unit circle is a circle with a radius of one unit. It could be one inch, one centimeter, one mile, one anything. It doesn't matter, just one unit. Also, we need some conventions for angles. Positive angles are measured counterclockwise, starting in quadrant one on the x-axis. Negative angles are measured clockwise. But in this video, we're only gonna be dealing with positive angles. So this is our goal. We want to memorize all of the angles in radians around the unit circle. At first glance, this can look overwhelming. So we're going to break down this task by looking at quadrant one and then building from there. The angles that we typically memorize in a unit circle are considered special angles. And here are the special angles in quadrant one in degrees, 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. The reason these angles are considered to be special is because they have nice trig ratios, and we're going to be calculating those trig ratios in another video. Let's back up a second and recall that 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. This means that 360 divided by 2, 180 degrees, is equivalent to pi radians. Well, if we take 180 degrees and divide it by 6, we would get 30 degrees. That means 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6 radians. So now if we go back to quadrant one in our unit circle, we can replace 30 degrees with pi over six radians. Going back to our chart, if we take 180 degrees divided by four, we're gonna get 45 degrees. So in other words, 45 degrees is equivalent to pi over four radians. Back to our unit circle, we can replace 45 degrees with pi over four. Back to our chart, we take 180 degrees divided by three, we're going to get 60 degrees. So 60 degrees is equivalent to pi over three radians. Back to our unit circle, we can replace 60 degrees with pi over three. And finally, if we take 180 degrees divided by two, we get 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is equivalent to pi over two radians. And so now we can replace 90 with pi over two. And here we have it, all of the angles in quadrant one of the unit circle. Zero, pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, pi over two. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how you can build the entire unit circle from just quadrant one. In the meantime, make sure that you truly understand and memorize these quadrant one angles. And that's how you will rock trig. 